Hey, hey. hey. it's on yeah. the music with Zach and Matt. Saint fucking Paddy's Day. Saint Paddy's Day, and we're gonna fuck your wife. Saint fucking Paddy's Day. Fuck your children. Scalette. Yeah, Scalette. 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 Drink, drink it. Scalette. Mm, mm, mm. Ah. This isn't piss. At just 30 minutes, Laurel Halo's new album, In Situ, is too short to be an LP and too long to be an EP. But it is roughly one tenth the length of a trip on PCP a drug where users experience ESP for roughly $40 RRP. Zach, was this one just right? Yes, you know what, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a huge Laurel Halo fan. I think she's one of the absolute best things going in the world right now. And um, I think that this record for me is kind of one of her uh, quainter kind of affairs. I don't want to say like a safer affair for her, but a mm. more, very much a more stripped back kind of affair. So that kind of took me by surprise initially because usually when I listen to it, oh, it's a bit like, whoa, mind expanded. And this mm. was a bit like, oh, okay, no, this is actually... Mine's still there. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> this wasn't exactly what I was expecting, maybe. I don't find it as transcendental as the Quarantine, that album, which I loved, I adored. As with Quarantine, her, her use of synthesis is really great, but I kind of miss her voice as well. It's very understated. It's very understated, and I think it's beautiful. Frankly, yeah. for all the like criticism, I still think I'd much rather listen to it than like most of the stuff that is coming out. Yeah, I'm a slave for this shit. Um, so for me personally, I reckon this is a uh, three Zach and half a Gotchi. Zach, 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 Gotchi. I think that's a bit harsh. I think it's a very comfortable four Zach. Zach, 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 Zach. Ever since the last independent record store proper got bought out by Google back in 1971, indie rock has just been a coke-sniffing wolf in sheep's clothing. Woolen jumpers. Which might explain why deer hunter hate deer so much. Matt, is it because the deer stole all their cocaine? I've been waiting for a good solid deer hunter release for some time now. But, I mean, the different elements that it's incorporated, I don't think uh, necessarily good additions. What I, I think I miss about this record is that they would just jam songs out. Like previously, you know, their tracks, they'd have great tracks like Desire Lines, where there's just these epics, you know. Mm. On this record, they don't really let the songs breathe so much. It's quite a short record. It's a short record. 38, 39 and, minutes. Yeah, and every, song's, and every song's pretty short. Yeah. Um, and I don't know if that's where they're at their best. It's funny you say that because there's something about this record that feels both like overthought in a way and then underthought. Mm. It's got this kind of weird mix of things that sound like they're just like demos, like they've just left it as it was. And then other things where like they sound like they've just listened to it too many times. To me, the record sounds like a record that has been listened to too many times by the band. There's nothing on this record for me that hasn't been done by Deer Hunter somewhere else in their discography better. Yeah. This is like the most predictable move I guess they could have done is like take the formula of a previous record and condense it. And I just miss hearing like, you know, a, a band in a room, just a great band on the top of their game just yeah. sitting in a room and like jamming out a good track. It's, it's, look, it's a three Zach and half a gotchy record. I mean, if you love Deer Hunter, go listen to it, but you know, mm. don't expect to fucking have a good time. Zach, 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 gotcha. And yeah, I thought it was a pretty disappointing effort from a band I love. Three Zacks from me. Zach, Zach, Zach. Hmm. Um, we, we here at, at, at the music with Zach and Gotchi would like to apologise profusely for uh, our, our producers have told us that today wasn't actually St. Patrick's Day. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, we apologise profusely to uh, all the Nicks out there for uh, desecrating your national day of shameless binge drinking. Hmm. Ugh! <laughs> <laughs>